Welcome to the podcast for Brain and Cortland in the morning on 98.1 K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Morgan Wallen and Eric Church with Man Made a Bar. Good morning, it's Brain and Cortland. Welcome to Friday. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm just, I, I keep going between super tired and then incredibly loopy. Like yesterday, I thought I was the funniest person in the world. Mm -hmm. You did. I really did. I kept making jokes on social media thinking, I'm so hilarious. Nailed it. And no one else laughed at my jokes. Well, one person did, but I think he's contractually obligated to. It's fine. Everything's fine. Well, as long as you thought you were funny, I'm sure there were other people that chuckled. (laughs) Thanks. I appreciate your support. (laughs) Sorry, that that wasn't exactly a ringing endorsement for your humor. No, it yesterday. wasn't. Well, listen, I you were you were tired yesterday, and when you get that way, because trust me, we've all been there before. You just start saying things, and you you say things you think are going to be funny. Sometimes when I, don't I get know, that I way, I feel like I've really tapped into my funny when I'm super tired. Sometimes when I get that way, I I I know what I want to say, but the words don't come out that way. That's the frustrating thing for me. I'm just really excited for this week to be over, to be totally honest with you. Yeah. (laughs) I need a a fresh start next week. So I'm going to have the weekend to chill out and do nothing. Yeah. All I really have to do this weekend is go to work tonight and that's it. So I've got plenty of time to just chill out. And I believe the weather this weekend is going to be really nice too. You know, it's been, it seemingly has been, you know, raining every other day here, but I got to mow my lawn. Yeah. The, uh, the forecast for the weekend from our friends. Oh my gosh. Hang on here at channel line. God, why did it all of a sudden I get 18 million emails that don't have anything (laughs) to do with the, there, there you are, Corey Thompson. I can't quit you. Yeah. Tomorrow the high is like 72 and then Sunday it's going to be around 80. Yeah. Chance of storms late on mother's day, but not too bad. I wonder how Dustin Lynch went last night. I heard it was rainy and 50 degrees, but it was a good time. I Yeah, I was going to say I had some friends who were there and they said despite the rain it was a fun show. So, I mean, well, that's all you can really ask that's for. That's what Dustin Lynch does, though. He comes out and he puts on a heck of a show. He's got that million dollar smile. Well, and the great thing is he caught all the rain in his dimples. <laughs> he just went, I got it. <laughs> we can't talk about Dustin Lynch without you mentioning his dimples. Well, look at them. <laughs> They're rain catchers, those things. Oh, man. Is this one of those examples of some, saying something that we think is funny and then doesn't end up being as funny <laughs> to other people? It might Listen, be. Listen, I'm sure there's a lot of people who hear us on a daily basis and they're like, <laughs> why do these guys think they're so hilarious? And to you, I say, because we are. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> Dustin Lynch, if we've offended anyone in your family with talk of your dimples this morning. Yes, I'm sure his whole family listens to our show every single Aww, day. Oh, that's so nice. I'm glad they do. <laughs> it's Brady Cortland on 98.1 K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Stars like confetti, Dustin Lynch and his rain-catching dimples on K-Hawk. You just can't let it go. I, I, I promise I will let it go now. Okay. Okay. Also, we got to focus, too, on Luke Combs because we have another day of codes to get entered on the K-Hawk app that could get you that flyaway to see Luke Combs in Phoenix in June. His shows are breaking records seemingly every stop, and you could be part of a record-breaking crowd in Phoenix. Well, didn't you see last weekend Haley Witters was with him in Florida yeah, doing shows? That's right. She's on a couple of his different tour stops. It's got to be such an amazing thing to to play smaller arenas and then... All of a sudden, boom. <laughs> you're opening for Luke freaking Combs. Hello, stadium tour. Uh, Once again, we have your first code coming up at 820. Enter the codes on the K-Hawk app, and you can be our grand prize winner. And we got you hooked up with this trip. Oh, yeah. We cover everything. Your hotel, your airfare, your spending cash. You're not going to have to spend any money if you're really responsible. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) That that does not include either one of us. But listen, $500 in spending cash. That'll get you some merch and some food. You'll have a great time. Uh, Get your first Luke Combs flyaway code at 820 with us. On your country concert leader, 98.1 K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids, number one for new country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Drunk on a plane, that's Dirks Bentley. Good morning, it's Brain and Cortland. Welcome to, uh, well, almost the weekend and a very important weekend. Mother's Day coming up on Sunday. Please don't forget that Mother's Day is this weekend. This is your friendly reminder to do something nice for your mom. Yes. Now, listen, you know, whether it's buying her a gift, whether it's getting her a card, whether it's something as simple as a visit or a phone call, Make sure it gets done because without your mother, you wouldn't be here. No, you would not. (laughs) 
Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a tough holiday for my mom this yeah, year. Yeah, I was just going to say this. This will be a little bit different uh, of a Mother's Day for your mom. Yeah, it's the first one where on the phone. This is these are her words, not mine. Where she's only half a mother, because my brother passed away last year, and so I was like, "What the heck am I going to do for my mom?" Because I can't come home. I have to work this weekend. Sure, I can't surprise her or anything like that. So I was looking, and I I found a good gift for her. And I don't want to say what it is because I know she'll listen to this show. But No spoilers here, Cortland's mom. It did ship yesterday, so my hopes are that it arrives before Sunday. So yeah. fingers crossed. But man, I just, your mom does so much for you in, in most cases, I feel like. And your mom has just been such like an important part of your life that no gift feels like enough. Yeah, and listen, I think, you know, it, each family dynamic is different. And, you know, whether you realize it or not, your mom has done a lot for you. I think sometimes you get to adulthood and then you look back and you're like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. she did a, a whole lot of stuff for us, whether you knew it at that time or not. I think that's one of the things that when you become a parent yourself and you start going through some of the things that your mom and dad went through, you're like, yeah, this isn't easy. No. And the thing I always look back on in my life is I never, ever remember my mom and dad freaking out over money, even though I know secretly they were. Mm -hmm. Never remember having them arguments, having seeing them have arguments about money or anything else going on that stressed them out. And I'm just like, how did you hide all of that yeah. from us? I just, I don't understand it. So yeah, moms anyway. are amazing. Shout out to the moms out there. So uh, no matter what you do, uh, listen. Are you doing anything for your wife this weekend? Uh, so she's really busy working. She is oh, yeah. uh, helping with a flower shop, a friend of hers that runs a flower shop. Even as she's not a florist anymore. Don't tell her that. <laughs> but I mean, like her main job yes, is not a florist, but that is correct. she's still working on one of these major holidays. I learned very hard, a hard lesson. Do not tell her that she's no longer a florist. Well, she'll always be a florist. That, thank you. Wish I'd have had that phrase in my back pocket about 24 <laughs> hours ago. Uh, yeah, so she's helping out. So I, she may actually work a little bit on Sunday. I know she, she worked late last night. She works her full-time job today. She's working the flower job on Saturday to get ready for Mother's Day. So what are you going to do for her? So we may just leave. Uh, we may just, and honestly, I know, I know that sounds like a, like, a, like, like a joke, but some moms are just like. I just want to get away from all of you. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I want some peace. So I'm not sure. She wants to obviously visit and see her mom. I would like to to visit with my mom on Mother's Day. So, um, yeah, once again, I just think the, the greatest gift that you have if your mom is still here is time. Mm -hmm. Phone call, visit, a conversation. Okay, do it while you can. Do it. Happy Mother's Day. It's Brandon Cortland on 98.1 K-Hawk. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Wildflowers and wild horses from Lainey Wilson. Good morning. It's Brandon Cortland. And some kind of surprising news broke late yesterday that a couple of Hy-Vee stores are going to be closing, including the one on First Avenue uh, as you head towards downtown Cedar Rapids. And uh, that store, the official address is 1556 First Avenue Northeast. Now, what's the reasoning behind this? Did they say? Yes. Uh, an official statement said that the two stores have, quote, not consistently met our financial expectations and sales goals over the past several years. What are the, what's the other store? Uh, there's a Waterloo Hy-Vee store oh. that's also going to be closing. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been into that Hy-Vee a few times and it just doesn't seem like it's as well taken care of as some of the other Hy-Vees in the area. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, it's, it's a tough part of Cedar Rapids. The reason that that store was and will continue to be important until it closes down is it serves two neighborhoods in Cedar Rapids that are in the, uh, and they're in the poverty region, uh, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It's Wellington Heights and Moundview. And now those neighborhoods no longer have a place to get groceries. And that has a lot of city officials within the city of Cedar Rapids, including the mayor and city council members, a little disappointed and upset, and rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's walking distance for a lot of people, that's important. Yeah. It's, uh, it's creating what they call a food desert. And that is a large area where there's just there's no grocery store mm -hmm. available for these people to walk to or drive a short distance to. Now, is it High V's moral obligation to keep a store open that's not profitable? You know, I I don't know. I you know, you can't run a multi-million dollar corporation 
and always make moral, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Moral judgments, you know? And so... But the good news is there are a lot of other high vs within the city of Cedar Rapids that aren't terribly far away. You know, the Oakland Road high V, that's the one that I typically go to. It's If you're someone in those two neighborhoods that doesn't six, have a car, you yeah. can't make it to those stores. No, I understand. And that's that. those are the people that I think are, 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 are most upset by this. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's six other stores... Uh, within Cedar Rapids that Hy-Vee owns and operates. Here's the thing I think that shows a little bit how close uh, Hy-Vee is a little out of touch with this situation. The statement goes on to say, you know, these people can still use the Hy-Vee delivery service. And I'm like, it's a $10 charge to use the service and the minimum yeah. order is 25 bucks. A lot of these people that walk to a grocery store aren't going to pay a $10 service charge just to have their groceries delivered. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't know if that's the way to go. But listen, no matter how you feel, you've got till June 23rd. That's the uh, closing day for the First Avenue High V in Cedar Rapids. So if you want to read more about the decision, it's up on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Cedar Rapids number one for new country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Luke Combs and Fast Car, braining Cortland on a Friday morning, which means it's time to honor another area first responder on a First Responder Friday. And today, we are going to be honoring somebody who does a lot for our community in Cedar Rapids. All right. His name? is Brian Gibson, and he was nominated by Carly Henderson. And this is what the entry says. Brian is a battalion chief with the Cedar Rapids Fire Department, a volunteer with the Fairfax Walford Fire Department, and spends his time off duty as the race director at Hawkeye Downs. Brian is deserving because he spends his time both on and off duty bettering our community. On duty, he has been instrumental in the production and purchase of new fire trucks and the training and mentoring of new firefighters. Off-duty, he has worked to keep the Hawkeye Downs racetrack open and bring in the NASCAR sponsorship. All right. Congratulations to Brian Gibson, our first responder Friday winner this week. Brian getting gift cards from both Wild Hogs and Walford and the folks at Honor and Respect. So congratulations. Doesn't he look so cool in his photo? His like, arms are folded. He's leaning up against a Cedar yeah, Rapids man. Fire Department truck. He's I got like, this. I got this covered. He says, you are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wrap these giant arms around. I'm not what you're saying. <laughs> Congratulations, Brian. By the way, check out the entry on the K-Hawk app. You can also share the post we have up on the K-Hawk Facebook page. And feel free to send in a first responder that you know so we can recognize them on a first responder Friday. That'd be awesome. We love getting your entries and honoring first responders every week. You can honor someone on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Cedar Rapids number one for new country, 98.1 K-Hawk. John Party with heartache on the dance floor. Good morning. It's Brain in Cortland on a Friday. A new survey has found that Americans believe the average person stops being quote unquote cool at the age of 39. Okay, I know we've talked about this before, but Mm -hmm. what does it mean to be cool according to this particular study? That's when the survey says we we tend to feel like we're out of touch and can't follow current trends. (laughs) Well, I just turned 33 and I'm already there, so. Yeah, Yeah, no, listen, I think... I don't know. I I don't think I don't I don't like to follow current. First of all, I think you reach a certain age where you should stop trying to look trendy. I think that's a young person's game. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way right now. We are in a time where fashions from the late '90s, early 2000s are coming back. Yeah, and every store I go into, I see cargo pants. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. I refuse to go back to wearing cargo pants. I won't do it. Yeah, I, I just won't. I think it's a good rule of thumb that if you were around the first time a trend was fashionable. (laughs) Don't bring it back. Don't be wearing it the second time it comes back. Uh, It's funny you mention that because Kaylee, um, with some of her birthday money, when she uh, turned 14 in March, uh, she bought some really nice black cargo pants. Why do you need that many pockets? And I just laughed. What are you putting in 32 pockets? I don't know. You don't need that many pockets. It's just, and she got them because they're cool. They're trendy right now. And when you're 14, that's fine. (sighs) But man, imagine me wearing low rise cargo pants at the age of 33. I'm not going to look cool. Even if I'm trying to look cool, the more I try to look cool, 
the more uncool I'm going to appear. So here, here's the list of things, topics that uh, that people say they have a tough time keeping up with. Things that make them uncool, okay? Uh, slang is the hardest thing, they say, oh, to yeah. keep up with. And I agree. Well, because as, as soon as it gets around to the older people, it it's, stops being It's already out trendy. Style. I, I do enjoy saying Delulu now, though. Delulu. Ever since we talked about Delulu. Well, it's only a matter of time. If we're using it, it's going to be out now. <laughs> Uh, the number two thing, it's tough to keep up with and be cool. Celebrities. Oh, my gosh. And it's true because there are all these TV shows or streaming shows <laughs> that are popular with young people. Like, how much? How many people in our listening audience know who Jacob Elordi is? I do. You do. I do. I from know who Euphoria. he is. From Euphoria. That's uh, how I know who he is. I don't know him from that, but I know him <laughs> from uh, the movie I saw on Hulu where the dude drinks the bath what, 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 water. Salt, Saltburn. Saltburn. <laughs> but he also played Elvis. In the yes. movie Priscilla. So there you go. I have done these BuzzFeed quizzes before that are like, how cool are you? See if you can name these hip celebrities. Yeah. And I, I can get through about half. And then I'm like, who are these people? I think a lot of them, too, are cool on TikTok. Yes. And yes. I don't go on TikTok, so I don't know. Other things we can't keep up with. Fashion. <clears throat> I think we've discussed that. Oh, yes. Technology. Yes. The I'm doing we, my best. Yeah, I think that I think you and I are both fairly tech savvy. A little bit. I'm just learning to edit videos. <laughs> it's 2024. I, I, don't, I know. I have no need to do that, so I'm not going to learn. Uh, movies. Keeping up with the latest in film. Well, think, it's hard now because it's not just movies that come out in theaters. Yeah. It's movies that are on Netflix. And then there's ones on Max. And then there's ones on Amazon. And then there's ones on Peacock. Like, that's yes. too many places to watch movies. I, I cannot physically keep up with that. Music is another topic that people uh, fall out of touch with, current artists. You and I working in radio, I think, helps us keep us a little more up to date, especially in country music. We're very obviously aware of that. And, and country music is very trendy right now. It's hot. It's definitely the hottest musical format right now. But there are some artists, my friend, a good friend of mine, she works for a big station in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And she's always doing interviews with these new and up and coming artists. And half the time I have to look up who they are. Sure. Because I'm not in that same format of music as she is. Having teenage daughters... It helps you. He helps me helps me a little bit, although they they listen to pretty popular stuff. Carly, of course, is a Swifty, and and uh, Kaylee is really into artists like Noah Kahn and, and Zach Bryan. So. so let me ask you about this. Okay. Over the weekend when we were in Nashville on Sunday night, a few of us in our group, not me, went to go see an artist at the Ryman, and they were all excited talking about how cool it is that she's there. Apparently, she opened up for Taylor Swift on okay. some of her Eras tours. It's called The Girl in Red. I, I personally have not. They didn't. They didn't open the show that I went to, so I've like, never heard on, of them. Come on, come on! You've you've heard some of her songs, and they're playing them for me, and, <laughs> and I'm like, like, no, no. And some of these people are older than I am, so that Ooh. made me feel really uncool. Yeah, I don't know. I just think I think trying to be cool is is tough. I think some of the coolest people are people that don't try, right? And you look at them and like, man, whatever they're doing, it seems effortless. And just keep doing what, what you're doing. What is that like? I don't know. Because I wasn't even cool at the age that I should have been cool. No. I completely <laughs> identify with you on that. If large, thick glasses, unruly hair, and braces were cool, I was strutting my stuff through most of high school. Although, I did just see a video from a famous influencer talking about <laughs> a dress from 2008. This is unreal. And I had that exact same dress, and I found photos of me in it. So see, back in 08, 09, you were cool. Well, there were like two places to shop, and one of them was Forever 21, and that's where we all got our clothes. Everybody had the same dress. Uh, I found a picture of myself from 2009. I was not wearing the same dress, thankfully. Oh, good for you. Although you have made me wear several dresses since we worked together. It's Brady and Cortland on 98.1 K-Hawk. For one, for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. You're going through hell from Rodney Atkins. Good morning. It's Brayden Cortland, and we are giving away another pair of weekend passes to County Line Country Fest, Prairie du Chien in August. First weekend of August, first through third. Okay, so Thursday's headliner is Randy Hauser. Mm -hmm. Friday's headliner is Tyler Hubbard, and Saturday's is Parker McCollum. Plus, we've got Parmalee, Nate Smith, Chase Beckham. It's going to be... A really fun weekend. Should be a lot of fun. And if you want to go for the whole weekend, two passes for you up for grabs right now. We're going to play a three-song montage, three songs in a row. If you can identify all three songs in the correct order and the correct title, 
boom, you've got tickets. That's all you got to do. Okay, so, let's do it. Here we go. Here's your Friday montage. Let's spend all night right here in my t-shirt, my ride, running circles. Got him? <laughs> I don't know. Do it no, again. okay. <laughs> Let's spend all night right here in my t-shirt, in my ride, running circles in my mind. To hell with the lonely and the why don't you want me? All right, if you got all three song titles in the right order, call us right now, 365-3698, or hit the call us button on your 98.1 Kayhawk app. Which one are you humming over there? Oh, okay, number three. Okay. I got it. I got yes. it. Yes. Figured it out. If Cortland can figure it out. <laughs> Anybody can. Yeah, that's not what I was going to say. Actually, that's what, that, that's what I was going to say. Sorry. All right. Caller 10 gets to guess first. Good luck with your country concert leader, 98.1 K-Hawk. Training Cortland. Let's uh, get this Friday mashup solved, shall we? Hey, Hawk, good morning. You are caller number 10. Who's this and where are you calling from? Oh, boy. This is Matt. Cedar Rapids. Oh, boy, Matt. Here we go. Take another listen. Let's All right, Matt, what three songs do you think we have? All right, we got Good Night Kiss, Girl in Mine, and Whiskey on You. Woo! Yeah! That's how you do it. That was really good. <laughs> Way to go, Matt. You got two weekend passes to County Line Country Fest. That is awesome. Matt nailed it today. Really no did. doubt, no hesitation. Knew all three. Boom, he's going. I thought the oh boy was because he was nervous, but I think it's because <laughs> he was excited. I think so. Uh, congratulations, Matt. County Line Country Fest, August 1st. Cedar Rapids, number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Tucson, too late from Jordan Davis. Good morning. It's Brainy Cortland. And we have another uh, interesting foods, or actually food and drink combination to talk about here. And, Which is uh, weird because earlier this week when I got back from Nashville, I told you about pickle beer. Yes. Which has become popular over in Nashville. And we had quite a few people tell us that Barntown Brewing does a pickle beer for the Iowa State Fair every year, which is really good. And then we went to Lister Lunch and I had a pickle brine chicken breast sandwich. Which was really good. Fantastic. You let me try a piece, which I'm grateful for. Yeah. And now we have something else involving pickles. And this is courtesy of TikTok. And a user whose name is Mississippi Memo. <laughs> Just how I say it. Oh, no. Uh, and she posted a clip of herself going through a Sonic drive through Remember Sonic's Eastern Iowa? Remember when we had them here? And she ordered a large Dr. Pepper... With pickles. So the pickles are inside the Dr. Pepper. So, yeah, and she actually showed this in the video. It's a large Dr. Pepper, and it floating inside are dill pickle chips. Not like a pickle spear, like a, like you would put in a Bloody Mary, but like pickle chips. So weird. Yeah, a little bit. It was. It, it's not a combination that I would naturally think of. No, because I, I love Dr. Pepper. Yeah, and you're, you're I a love big fan. pickles. But I just don't know how the two go together. And also, I'd like to know who figured this out? Who was like, you know what? I'd really like to see how pickles taste inside my Dr. Pepper. Like, was it an accident? Was it on purpose? I just have so many questions. So, yeah. And by the way, the uh, the person taking her order at Sonic did not seem the least bit surprised no. that somebody ordered pickles with their Dr. Pepper. So clearly she's not the only one doing this. And there are a lot of people in the comments saying, yes, this is an amazing combination. You should try it. So maybe next week, Brain. Oh, yeah. On Monday, oh, I'll bring in some Dr. Pepper for us and some pickles. Yes. And we can figure out if this tastes good or not. So before we do our taste test, which by the way, I am... 100% perfectly willing to try. This is a combination that if it was good, it wouldn't shock me at all. But it also wouldn't shock me if I didn't care for it. No, I don't think this is something I'm going to be ordering. If you've ever had pickles in your pepper, <laughs> let us know. Message us this morning on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. What did you call me at the top of the yeah. hour? <laughs> okay, I called you a pickle girly. <laughs> Why am I a pickle girly? What is that? So, okay, pickles are really trendy right now for whatever reason. Yeah. I actually just saw yesterday a recipe for a dill pickle grilled cheese sandwich. Why not? Which sounded really good. But a few weeks ago, a friend of mine at the gym who's younger and cooler and more up to date with things than I am 
She told all of us that she wanted to be a pickle girly. And we're like, what are you talking about? What is that? And she said, I've never seen a non-hot girl eat a pickle. She said, every girl who likes pickles is hot. Okay. So I want to like pickles so I can become a pickle girly. (laughs) Talk about... (laughs) I was so confused. Talk about a misrepresentation of pickles. I said, I'm sure there's ugly people eating pickles. They're just doing it in the safety of You know why? Because they're ugly and they remain in the privacy of their home. (laughs) They eat in shame. So you and I, I'm going to refer to us now as pickle girlies. I am not a pickle girlie. (laughs) You'll never see me this summer seductively eating a big dill pickle on a park okay, bench. Okay, I shouldn't say seductively. That's what you're implying. No, it's not. Isn't it? I'm just repeating what was told to me, okay? I've never seen a non-hot girl eat a pickle. Yeah, I bet you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of social media channels are you following? I don't know. All right, anyway, <laughs> if you've ever had a pickle and a pepper, even if you're not a pickle girly. Or if you have some other food that you eat with pickles and it's kind of weird. Yeah. I, we've tried a peanut butter and pickle sandwich before. Not wasn't bad. bad. Wasn't bad at all. Was shocked. Message us on the app or give us a call this morning at 365-3698. It's Brain and Cortland on 98.1 K-Hawk. And so we're talking pickles this morning. Pickle recipes. We talked about a pickle and a pepper. A pickle Well, a bunch of pickles inside of a Dr. Pepper. It's gone viral on TikTok. Everyone's trying it. So we asked other people, other pickle girlies, what they like to do with their pickles. All right, pickle girlies. Here's another pickle (laughs) recipe involving a beverage. Go ahead. What do you do? You take dill pickles, whether they're spears or chips, you take them all out, you dump about half the juice out, put Kool-Aid in it, the Kool-Aid packets, and then some water, and then put the pickles back in, and they soak up the flavor of the Kool-Aid. You know what? I think I've heard of this before. About a few days. I I let mine soak for about a week. A week? Wow, okay. Interesting. So it tastes like grape, strawberry, and pickles. And pickles. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, pickle Kool-Aid. The Kool-Aid or the pickles then soak up the flavor of the Kool-Aid. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. I don't know either. Eric on the K-Hawk app. Eric from Cedar Rapids says he has had a pickled Pepsi before. Okay. All right. And then Jenny from Animosa sent in this recipe. She says it's called the sleeping pickle. Why is it called that? I don't know, but I love the name. Is it because you tuck the pickle into a piece of ham? It is. She says you take a (laughs) slice of bread, put butter on it, add a slice of ham, put a dill pickle spear on the ham, and then cover it with a slice of cheese, toast it in the oven. Her kids... Love it. Sounds really good. Actually. Jenny, I would I would trademark the name Sleeping Pickle because I think that's brilliant. I'm just picturing somebody tucking in the pickle in like a nice little bed of ham. Here you go, Mr. Go pickle. to sleep, little pickle. Melt in the oven <laughs> under cheese. Mm, the Sleeping Pickle. We just made this week. Yeah, we did, but that's our job. Uh, if you have a pickle recipe this morning, let's see the rabbits number one for New Country, 98.1 K Hawk. Jelly Roll and Halfway to Hell, Brain in Cortland on a Friday morning. And we have another big concert coming to the area. This is going to be uh, coming up here in just a few weeks. Friday, May 24th, Ian Munsick in Coralville. So if you want to go see Ian Munsick, absolutely free and have a chance to do a meet and greet with him. Wow. We have a very easy way for you to win some tickets. Yeah. We're going to sign up you to win one of two four packs of tickets to see Ian Munsick. He's going to be at Extreme Arena in Coralville. That's right. We'll have two winners of four packs of tickets, but only one of those will come with four meet and greet passes, too. Are you feeling lucky, <laughs> punk? <laughs> oh, wow. What a, wow. That, wait. I think we found the age you're no longer cool. <laughs> Enter to win Ian Munzik tickets now, and meet and greet passes could be yours on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Punk. It's a new music Friday on Country Quickies. Here's Brain and Cortland with the music and the other country music news of the day on 98.1 K-Hawk. Well, we'll start off with new music that we told you a little bit about yesterday, and that is coming from Luke Combs. This will be out next week. Uh, The song will come out Thursday at 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, That's 7 a.m. Iowa time. The song is called Ain't No Love in Oklahoma, and it's coming as part of the new Twisters movie soundtrack. And we told you this yesterday. It's also going to be Luke Combs' new radio single. And later yesterday, he released a little clip of what that song will sound like. Here it is. It's called Ain't No Love in Oklahoma. So I can't 
Fantastic. We'll play it for you, of course, when it comes out. Once again, out next Thursday morning. Ain't no love in Oklahoma from Luke Combs. Okay, so let's get to music that actually is out today. Yes. As promised, that new song from Morgan Wallen and Post Malone has arrived. It's called I Had Some Help. And it's Post Malone's very first country song to be released. He's been teasing it for a long time. It's incredibly catchy. We already played it once this morning. And we are going to play it again in just a few minutes. So yeah. get ready for that. But we also have a new song out today from Thomas Rhett. It's called Beautiful As You, and Thomas wrote on social media, absolutely stoked to kick off this new chapter, my favorite music yet. I guess that means he has a new album on the way, although yeah. we don't have any details just yet, but here is what that new one sounds like. What's the Catchy music out today. Catchy stuff. Like it. Yes. All right. How about country albums out today? Two big ones. We have what he's calling his debut country album, even though it's the second solo project from former Florida Georgia Line member Brian Kelly. But he's calling this a more accurate representation of the artist he wants to be. Didn't he release an EP the first time around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so did. this is like a full album then? Yes. This is a full album. It's called Tennessee Truth. 12 tracks, including the song called Kiss My Boots. It's a good which one. Which everyone <laughs> just assumes is about his uh, rise and uh, fall of Florida Georgia Line. Hey, speaking of rise and fall, that's the title of the new Scotty McCreary album, which is also out today featuring his current number one song, Cab and a Solo. 13 tracks if you love Scotty. Okay, and just a few other new songs out today. We've got Fault Line from Carly Pierce. This is actually the sixth song that she's released from her upcoming album, Hummingbird. The full album is due out June 7th. Just listen to that one. It's really, really good. Uh, we've got a new single from Mitchell Tenpenny out today called Not Today. The Warren Treaty have a new one called Leads Me Home. Danielle Bradbury, she's releasing new music. She just had a new song a few weeks ago. Now she's got another one, Wedding or a Funeral. And... Blessing Offer and Dolly Parton have a new song out today called Somebody's Child. Lots of new music to check out today, including that new one from Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallen it's called I Had Some Help. Coming up. Coming up right after weather on 98.1 Kayhawk. Tyson's Home Farm Auto is the proud sponsor of Brain and Cortland's Furry Friday. We now introduce you to another adoptable dog or cat from a local shelter on 98.1 K-Hawk. It's Brain and Cortland on another Furry Friday, and joining us in studio is Linda with Dogs Forever. Good morning. Good morning. And also roaming the studio is a lovable lug named Knox. Now, I like to refer to Knox as a wiggle butt. That's when a dog wags their tail so hard that they can't keep their butt still. And that's the kind of dog that Knox is. He's a pretty happy guy. <laughs> he is a happy boy. Well, when you showed us his before photo of when you got him and what he looks like now. Yeah, it was when he was rescued in Texas. He Drastically he was, different. Yeah, he was just skin and bones and no hair. And he's oh, certainly man. recovered from that. He's, <laughs> he's a meatball uh, now. He is. He's a, he's a good boy. <laughs> you were telling us that he is kind of a picky and, and eater and doesn't eat well. Yeah, you wouldn't I, and I mean, it. this is the most positive thing. You'd never know it really by looking at him. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> so, I think uh, he has a, a spooled. I think he just yeah. wants us to enhance his food so that he gets some goodies in it. Yeah. So tell us about Knox and how old he is. And, and obviously you mentioned he came from Texas. He came from Texas. as a, he, was, he was found as a stray down there. He is about three years old. He is a lab mix. And um, like Cortland said, kind of a meatball. He's... He's uh, he's a good walker. Um, he does like the sniffari along with peeing on many things on your walk. But he does he does like his walks. And um, again, super friendly guy. He yeah. loves everyone. Go ahead. Uh, haven't haven't met a stranger yet. What about other dogs? He's good with other dogs. Um, not cats though. 
All right. So he's, well, listen. he's a dog boy. He is a dog. He's a dog dog. <laughs> Cats. They're not for everyone. And no. that's just Knox's motto. That's, that's fine. That's exactly right. Well, uh, he is uh, full of life, full of energy, loves his treats, knows some commands. Looks he's, like he's pretty well behaved. You are is, a good yes. boy. Yes, you are. So if folks are interested, we're going to have some photos and pictures. If we can get him to hold still for one minute. <laughs> More likely just a video of Knox up on the Kayhawk Facebook page here shortly. Uh, but Linda, what can folks do if they're interested in finding out more or maybe adopting him? Absolutely. Um, you can go to our um, website, dogsforever.org, and under adopt, there's a list of adoptable dogs, and he, Knox is one of them. Um, we have some other really great dogs as well. So check that out, and that will lead you to his pet finder bio. And um, you can also meet Knox and all of our wonderful dogs on Saturdays from 10 to 2 at Dogs Forever, 809 Rockford Road Southwest in Cedar Rapids. I'll yeah. tell you what, he's got a tail like a baseball bat. <laughs> when that thing gets going, whack, whack, whack. It might clear a coffee table. Anything low to the ground is in danger. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing Knox up, and we certainly hope that he finds a, a fun home that he can have a great time in soon. Thank you so much for having us. It's another Furry Friday. It's Braden Cortland on 98.1. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Cam and a solo from Scott and McCreary. Good morning, it's Braden Cortland. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend, Mother's Day weekend. And we thought we would run down some of the many, many activities going on throughout the uh, corridor at Eastern Iowa. Now, we do want to remind you that there are a ton of places that are going to be open for Mother's Day brunch mm -hmm. on Sunday. And we have a list of those over on the K-Hawk app. But these are some of the other things going on throughout the weekend. Yes. You can take mom to some of these, including tonight. Uh, we kick off the year. The first Rock the Block at Nubo happens this evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's the Surf Zombies tonight. Uh, by the way, this is a free event. You can come bring your chair, hang out, watch some music. Uh, no outside food or beverages. You're, of course, encouraged to visit some of the mini vendors inside the Nubo City Market. So, And I think the weather's going to be really nice tonight for Rock the Block. Well, it's good that the weather is going to be nice this weekend because Llama Storytime and Encounter is coming up on Saturday. This is going to be at Green Square Park in downtown Cedar Rapids from 1 to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be a short story time beginning at 1, followed by photo opportunities and fun interactions with a couple of llamas from Prairie Patch Farm. All ages are welcome. I love this. We love the llamas at yes, Prairie Patch. We've met them several times. They're wonderful. Earl is the best. All right, the 20th annual Ben's Beer Festival or Beer Fest is happening on Saturday, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Although if you're a VIP or a VIB beer drinker, uh, yeah. that starts at 1 p.m. I made that up. It was dumb. They don't say that. So <laughs> uh, stop by Ben's Beverage Depot, sample unlimited craft beverages from local Iowa craft vendors if you're into the the craft beer scene. This will be a big event happening Saturday afternoon. And Vintage Market Days of Eastern Iowa is happening this weekend. This is actually going to be at Hawkeye Downs today through Sunday. There's all sorts of vendors here, handcrafted goods, food, beverages, live music. It's it's a really cool thing to do. It, there is an admission cost for it, but this is where I actually get all of my overalls is from this particular market when it comes to town. Okay. All right. I get mine from Oshkosh Bagosh. <laughs> Happening also <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday, it's the Bow Arts Fair. This is at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds in Davenport. Now, this thing is huge because they have hundreds of booths, music, food. They say crowds every day reach 8,000 people. That's and the a cool lot of people. It is. And the cool thing is admission is free. So it happens from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mother's Day on Sunday in Davenport. And here's something fun you could do with your mom this weekend. It's another weekend of the Spring Festival over at Bloomsbury Farm in Atkins. This is happening Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. They've got baby animals, lilac fields, all of the farm attractions, food, drinks, all that good stuff. Got to pay for that, though. Should be a great weekend, though, weather-wise for that, too. So It'll be amazing. Hey, uh, get out and uh, enjoy some of these amazing activities with mom, maybe even on Sunday, if you like, for Mother's Day. You can find details on the events we mentioned and more on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Cedar Rapids, number one for new country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Ashley Cook, that's your place. It's Brain and Cortland. Our place for listener lunch in the month of May is Stadium Bar and Grill in Cedar Rapids off of Rockford Road. I got to tell you, I am so pumped to go there again next week because there's like nine things on the menu that I really <laughs> want to try. 
Yeah, we tried some of our first things that we had on our, our wish list this past Tuesday, our first trip there to Stadium Bar and Grill. But they also have a, a lunch special every day. Yes, they so did. we have no idea what that's going to be next week. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody got, did anybody get the lunch special? It was this crazy huge tenderloin. It sounded amazing. Yeah. But there's so many other things on the menu that I have to get first. If you would like to try out all of the menu items, the lunch special and more, just enter to win free listener lunch. You can join us on a Tuesday in the month of May at Stadium Bar and Grill. Enter on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. Cedar Rapids number one for New Country, 98.1 K-Hawk. Wildflowers, wild horses, brain in Cortland, galloping through a meadow of flowers on our bareback steeds. <laughs> nope, not doing that. All right, okay. <laughs> Maybe next weekend. Uh, wrapping it up here on a Friday. Weather looks great this weekend for Mother's Day. Uh, whatever your plans may be, make sure and take time to thank the moms in your life. Yes, and shout out to your mom and your wife and my mom and all the other amazing moms that we have here in the area. Most definitely, most definitely. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's we we recognize you officially on this one day, but there, uh, it's obvious that we, we should be saying thank you far Every more often. Every day should be Mother's Day. Far more often than just one day a year, that's for sure. All right, we got to congratulate our latest winner of Listener Lunch during the month of May, headed to Stadium Bar and Grill in Cedar Rapids. And our winner today is Scott with Fire Station Number 7 with the Cedar Rapids Fire Department. And you know what's funny? Scott told us he just retired like a couple of weeks ago. And so he gets to enjoy himself and invite all of his <laughs> old co-workers out for one last meal. That's right. Uh, they'll be joining us at Stadium Bar and Grill next Tuesday for some free lunch. Thank you, Scott. Uh, for entering and uh, and serving the community with the Cedar Rapids Fire Department. Can't wait to have some lunch on Tuesday. We are well over 200 entries now, by yeah. the way, for a listener lunch. So if you haven't entered yet, I would get in there now. Keep them coming. <laughs> Easy to enter on the 98.1 K-Hawk app. All right, anything fun this weekend? You mentioned you're working at, working at Hazard tonight, right? Yep, I have to DJ tonight. And then I'm going to go to that market, the vintage market yeah. over at Hawkeye Downs, I think later on this afternoon. But other than that, I don't really have any plans this weekend. Yeah, just one of those weekends where not a whole lot going on. I'm going to kind of uh, just see what uh, the moms in my life want to do on Sunday. So we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there. I'm but, also going to have to do a bit of cleaning yeah? because this is my first weekend back from Nashville and I still have not unpacked my suitcase. <laughs> I got okay, laundry to do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah, don't judge do. me. I, don't give me that look. So sorry. I was just, You're telling me you get home and immediately unpack no, and put all your clothes away? No, but you've been home for a few days. I got home Monday night. It's Friday morning. It okay. hasn't been that long. Are you running out of things to wear? Is that what you're saying? I do have <laughs> quite a few things that need to be washed, I will say. All right, judgment-free zone. Uh, all right, dad joke on a Friday. What do we got today? Hey, Breen, what did Elvis say to his landscaper? What did Elvis say to his landscaper? I have no idea. Thank you. Thank you for the mulch. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so bad. <laughs> that's so bad I'm dying. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. I don't know what was worse, the joke or your Elvis impersonation. I thought my Elvis impersonation was amazing. I don't want to hear any more judgment out of you, sir. Thank you. Looking for a mulch for the mulch. <laughs> All right, mine sucks too. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. We'll be back Monday morning, bright and early at 5 a.m. Until then, so long.